G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. This is a build 179 game in which I'm just going to show you the first five minutes or so and I want to show you a gorge opening for the game. So this is the kind of strategy that I like to use as a gorge if I'm not feeling like playing as Alien Commander but I want to help with the macro game for the Alien team. Well this is one of the things you can do to help out. So I'm just going to wait here for the 15 second start timer to go down and there we go. I'm going to start off now. I'm going to sprint as a skull straight across the hive over to generate it. Now in Summit, there is a significant dif distance between the starting hive and the first available resource point. Not like in Tram where you can get there with one infestation patch. With Summit, it takes maybe two or three or four or even five patches, depending on how good a commander you are, to get to this node. So what I'm doing here is I'm going straight to the node, evolving into Gorge and talking to the commander and saying, Commander, bring a drifter over. I'm going to infest this node for you and watch this. The commander will in fact bring this drifter over, the commander being worthy, and drop this node any second now. He's probably coming. There he goes. So that was a pretty fast node and it was much faster than what you'd be able to do if you were just the commander and infesting in. And if you look down the corridor, if I look, am I gonna look right at any point here? Okay, and I'm also holding E on the harvester to make it build faster. So that's important to note as well. So that node has gone up significantly faster than it otherwise could. Worthy is trying to bring the infesto infestation over now and you can see that the team is now getting resources a lot faster than it would if it went if you just left it to the commander to do so on, as ns2 games get larger and they're starting to be 9v9 is definitely a very very comfortable size for a game i've played about eight games today and it's all been 9v9 and it's a really good size for a game as the ns2 games get larger it, uh, it means that you don't need everyone harassing at the start. So if you've only got four people on either team like we used to, then yeah, you, you don't want a gorge evolving straight away and taking away from your offensive capability. But now there's definitely space for people to go gorge and help out with this the macro game early on. And now I'm doing it to this crevice node as well, but I don't think this is a very good idea. And when I was doing it, I probably thought it wasn't, but I thought it was making the uh, node look pretty, so I just do it anyway. Uh, the reason this isn't such a great idea Just is because the commander isn't going to have enough energy to infest over here very quickly. So you don't really help the commander in doing this because while he could spend Got the money Marines to get a second node very quickly, uh, he's not going to be able to infest over for quite a few minutes and that means you're going to have to nurse that node because your infestation as a gorge will die. I think after two minutes your infestation dies. So that's not such a great idea. I mean if the commander really wants it then definitely it's a really good thing to do. What this commander has done instead is Worthy has dropped a hive in surface access. Now, I didn't realize this until about now, so about three minutes in. What I should have done is realized this earlier on and gone straight to assist the hive because dropping a fast hive li like this means that your your team has taken a gamble. If that Point hive dies, you're going to have lost a huge amount of resources early on in the game and it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost the team big later on. So what I'm doing here is dropping some gorge infestation out near this hive and I'm putting hydras in strategic locations where they'll be able to defend this hive because if the marine team locates this hive right now and they all attack it they could inflict a massive blow on the alien team it's just so bad should you lose that hive hives now cost what is it 50 team resources 40 team resources and they take ages to grow so if you lose one early on in the game, Marine it's just a massive advanced. blow. And that's why being a gorge, getting that fast harvester for Rain your command, the for your commander, and then getting fast hydras onto your hive is just a really, really good idea. Now here I've pushed Marines a little bit aggressively. In. I wanted to heal up those skulks and I think I'm gonna lead these marines back to the surface access hive. So I'm gonna stick behind my hydras, gonna let them take the brunt of the damage. They've got 300 hit points each, so they can take that right. damage. Sorry, man. Those I'll marines, in fact, not following here. me, but in general, hydras, 300 hit points. They're a lot more durable than you are. So let them eat the damage, heal them up as you fight, and uh, you'll be able to effectively defend the hive. So this is just my early gorge opener for Summit. And there's not really much more to it. You can't e-key assist build the hive anymore. You used to be able to, but Un Unknown Worlds has taken that out because I think they want hives to take a very long time to build. Oh, one uh, marine volcano getting a jump on me here, doing a lot of damage to me. I'm healing myself up though, and that's the only reason he wasn't able to kill me. And I believe it was my health spray that killed him, but uh, 
Also, the Hydra is doing some damage to him as well. And I've completely forgotten what I was just talking about just then. Oh, yes. Undead Worlds wants it to take a while to build that seconds. hive so that uh, aliens can't get super, super fast fades. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this brief video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon for more NXTRX videos.